Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Tony. It is a stormy day here in the Midwest. I'm here today to share with you guys how I grow my philodendron Jose Bono to be as large as it is today. Before we begin, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more plant content. Okay, let's get started. So I got this plant about a couple of months ago. It was a seedling that I imported um, from Indonesia. I believe I pay about $30 for this plant. Philodendron Jose Bono is considered a rare plant and it was very hard to get during the pandemic. There are a few places you can get this philodendron. The first place is Gabriel Plant. Second place is Etsy. And last, Facebook Marketplace. Jose Bono is a native plant to Colombia. It is also known as the giant astatum. Being from the tropics, it is grown from USDA zone 9 to 11. It enjoys bright and direct light and plenty of humidity. Compared to other philodendrons, this philodendron can get pretty large. Some of the leaves could get up to 9 to 10 inches wide. So how do I take care of this beautiful plant? I place this plant on the south side of my house where I receive a lot of bright and direct light during the day. I also water this plant once a week. As for the soil mix, I like to give it a nice, well-draining mix of Miracle Grow pond soil, a denim with plenty of perlites. I also use plant tone in the mix to give it more feed throughout its growing season. I love Miracle Grow, especially this pot mix right here. You can get this at Sam's currently for only uh, $12. It is quite a large bag and I love using this for most of my plants. All you need to do is to amend this with perlite or pumice to promote drainage. And it works really well. It feeds the plants up to six months. So this is a bag of used pumice. I always try to save them and reuse them instead of throwing them away. And finally, this is the um, fertilizer that I use in my mix. This is plant tone, all purpose plant food. And you can grab a bag like this for only $10 at a local big box store. I think the most important thing that I did for this plant, knowing that it's a fast grower, was to give it a large pot. And as you guys can see, it enjoys its home. I have not repotted this plant and it can't stay in this pot for another year or so before it needs to be uh, potted. I really enjoy this plant. It is definitely a statement piece. It is a grower, so if you can provide this plant with some sort of structure like a moss pole, it will be very happy. One thing to keep in mind is that the variegation do gradually fade into this creamy white, uh, creamy green color. It doesn't stay this creamy white forever. Unfortunately, this plant is toxic to human and pets. So you do need to keep this away from cats or dogs. For some reason, if a animal or a toddler do consume this plant, they will experience toxicity such as difficulty swallowing, itchiness and swelling. Like other philodendron, philodendron Jose Bono is incredibly easy to propagate. All you need is just a node and that's it. You just root it and a new plant and you will have a new plants in a matter of time. So in conclusion, this plant is incredible. I think that as a plant enthusiast, you should have one in your collection. It is so easy to take care of and so rewarding to grow. Again, this is Tony. Please take care of yourself and your plants, and I'll see you in a future video. Bye.